Good morning, friends. Hope you're having a great weekend. Man, we've had some great basketball the last few days. I love the regular season, but man, when you get down to conference tournaments, that stuff just gets wild. Things get crazy, and that's what's happened the last few days. We're going to go over all that. Uh, today, of course, Selection Sunday, and we have five championships to be determined today. So, we're going to go over all that stuff. First, let's go over some news. Got a few news items here. Oh, before we start, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. All right, let's get down to, uh, get down to the news. U of H won yesterday in the championship game today, but Marcus Sasser was injured in the first half. They're not really sure if he's going to play. Um, something about a groin groin injury, I think it was. So I guess he's questionable. Still haven't heard if he's going to play or not. Probably going to be a game time decision. But uh, hey, when he went out yesterday, the rest of the team still got it done. So so not too bad. Uh, ESPN is reporting that Wichita State is going to fire head coach uh, Isaac Brown after three seasons. Uh, Wichita State kind of used to be a uh, powerhouse in college basketball. Not so much lately. So, uh, Rick Stam Stansberry resigns as men's head coach, basketball coach, after seven seasons. Um, he's no longer going to be there anymore. Uh, Howard University, first tournament birth since 1992. Good for them. Uh, Buffalo fires men's basketball coach Jim Whitesell after four seasons. And Maryland hires Josh Battis as their offensive coordinator. He got fired from Miami this past season. They went, what, five and seven, I think. Uh, he was at Michigan before that. He won an award. So uh, Maryland's going to try their luck there. Okay, so today, today is Selection Sunday. We got five championship games. Uh, championships were decided yesterday. So let's go over real quick how we got to where we are today. Uh, Thursday, Pac-12 quarter finals. UCLA beat Colorado, 89-69, I'm sorry. Uh, Big 12 quarters, number three, Kansas beat West Virginia, 78-61. Big East quarterfinals, number six, Marquette beat St. John's, 72-70 in overtime. Big 12 quarters, Iowa State beat number 10, Baylor. Uh, 78-72. Big East quarters. Uh, number 11, UConn beat Providence. 73-66. Uh, ACC quarters, number 14, Miami beat Wake Forest by uh, two points. SEC second round, number 17, Tennessee beat Ole Miss, 70-55. to um, Mountain West quarters. Number 20, San Diego State beat Colorado State by three points. ACC quarters, number 21, Duke beat Pitt 96-69. That was actually a pretty damn good game. Um, Matt quarters, Toledo beat Miami of Ohio 91-75. Atlantic 10, VCU beat Davidson 71-53. Big 10 second round, Rutgers beat Michigan 62-50. ACC tournament started on Thursday. First round, East Carolina beat, or I mean, uh, American Athletic, I'm sorry, started on Thursday. First round, East Carolina beat South Florida, 73-58. Uh, SEC second round, Mississippi State beat Florida by one in overtime. Uh, Big 12 quarters, number seven, Texas beat Oklahoma State, 60-47. ACC quarterfinals, number 13, Virginia beat North Carolina, 68-59. A lot of people saying Tar Heels are out, not going to make the tournament. Um, it's kind of sad seeing because uh, North Carolina, you know, the usual North Carolina, Kansas, Duke, Kentucky, always in there. Uh, North Carolina's probably going to be left out, but hey, we'll see what happens. You never know. Uh, Big East quarters, number 15, Xavier beat DePaul. Uh, Mac. 9-13 Ohio be 20-12 and 12, Ball State by 20. That one surprised the heck out of me. I figured Ball State was going to make it to the uh, to the uh, at least the semifinals of that conference tournament. Nope. It's one good thing about these conference tournaments. You just never know. 
Uh, Atlantic 10, 21 and 11, and 11 St. Louis. Be 20 and 13 George Mason. Uh, Big 10 second round. Ohio State beat Iowa. Did not see that one coming. Uh, SWAC. Jackson State beat Prairie View A&M by two. Um, AAC first round. UCF beat SMU 76 to 70. The WAC quarterfinals. Sam Houston beat Cal Baptist 64-51. Pac-12 quarters. Number eight beat Stanford. Number eight Arizona beat Stanford 95-84. Big 12 quarters, number 22, TCU beat number 12, Kansas State, 80-67. Big East quarter, number 24, Creighton beat Villanova by 10 points. Mm, let's see what we got here. Big West quarters, uh, UC Irvine beat Cal State Bakersfield, 75-51. The MAC quarterfinals, Kent State beat Northern Illinois, 76-57. Atlantic 10 quarterfinals, Dayton beat St. Joseph, 60-54. to uh, Mountain West quarters, San Jose State beat Nevada, 81-77. Pac-12 quarters, Oregon beat Washington State by five points. Uh, Western Athletic, Grand Canyon beat Seattle, 84-79. Big West quarters, Cal State Fullerton beat Hawaii by two points in overtime. Uh, the MEAC quarter, Maryland Eastern Shore beat Morgan State, 80-64. Uh, Conference USA quarters, Florida Atlantic beat Western Kentucky, 75-51. Uh, Big Ten second round, Penn State beat Illinois by three points. Uh, MAC quarterfinals, Akron beat Buffalo, 101-77. SEC second round, another surprise to me, uh, Arkansas beat Auburn by three points. Uh, Conference USA quarter, Middle Tennessee beat Charlotte by one point. AAC first round, uh, Wichita State beat Tulsa, 81-63. Uh, MAAC quarters, Metro Atlantic, I think that's what that is. 12-19 uh, Mayors beat 20-10 uh, Quinnipiac, 75-59. Atlantic 10 quarters, Ford beat LaSalle, 69-61. Uh, the MEAC quarters, Norfolk State beat Copeland State. 73-56. Uh, SEC second round, Vanderbilt beat LSU, 77-68. Conference USA quarters, North Texas beat Louisiana Tech, 74-46. Uh, Mountain West quarters, Boise State beat UNLV, 87-76 in overtime. Uh, the WAC quarters, Utah Valley beat Tarleton, 72-58. Big West quarters, UC Santa Barbara beat Cal Poly by 10. Big Ten second round, Maryland beat Minnesota, 70-54. to uh, Boy, Minnesota's really got to do something about their basketball program. They're just not, not what they used to be. Uh, the SWAT quarters, Alabama A&M beat Southern. Conference USA quarters, UAB beat Rice, 87-60. Uh, Mid-Atlantic, Mid-Atlantic. Uh, mid I think it's Mid Atlantic, right? MAAC quarters, MAAC conference. Uh, Niagara beat Siena, seventy one sixty five. ACC quarters, Clemson beat North Carolina State, eighty to fifty four. Um, Mountain West quarters, Utah State beat New Mexico, ninety one seventy six. Uh, the WAC quarterfinals, Southern Utah beat Utah Tech by one. Big West quarterfinals, UC Riverside beat UC Davis, sixty eight fifty two. Pac-12 quarters, Arizona, this one kind of surprised me. <laughs> Arizona State beat USC 77-72. Um, Arizona State's kind of not at the top of the conference, not, not at the bottom or middle, but kind of between the middle and the, and the top of the conference. I just didn't, I didn't think they were going to beat USC, and somehow they did it. Uh, Friday, AAC quarterfinals, number one, Houston beat Eastern Carolina 60-46. Uh, Sasser, we mentioned him, got hurt yesterday. He had 30 points, 5 rebounds in that one. Uh, Pac-12 semifinals, number 2 UCLA beat Oregon, 75-56. Uh, Big 12 semis, Kansas beat Iowa State, 71-58. Mm, SEC quarters, number 4 Alabama beat Mississippi State, 72-49. Big 12 quarters, number 5 Purdue beat Rutgers, 70-65. Big East semifinal, number six, Marquette 
the number 11, UConn, 70 to 68. Uh, Big 12 semis, number 7, Texas beat number 22, TCU, 66 60. Pac 12 semis, number 8, Arizona beat Arizona State. Rivalry. And it's pretty cool when the, when the two rivals get to meet in their conference tournament, even in the NCAA tournament. But uh, Arizona won, 78 59. ACC semis, number 13, Virginia beat Clemson by 20 points. Uh, ACC semifinal, number 21, Duke beat number, I think that's number 14, Miami. I think that's what I wrote. Sometimes I can't read my writing. Anyway, Duke beat them 85-78. Uh, Big East semifinal, number 15, Xavier beat number 24, Creighton, 82-60. SEC quarterfinals, uh, this, <laughs> this one kind of shocked me. Uh, Number 25, Missouri beats number 17, Tennessee, 79-71. It shocked me, but it didn't. Missouri's gotten better. Tennessee, they start off the game strong. I mean, they just give everything they have, and I don't know what happens. Like the last half of the second half, they just, man, I don't know if they just wore out. They just give up. Say, oh, we got. But, man, that's happened a lot this year to Tennessee. Uh, SEC quarters. Number 18, Texas A&M beat Arkansas, 67-61. Um, Big 10 quarterfinals, number 19, Indiana beat Maryland by 10 points. Mountain West semis, number 20, San Diego State beat San Jose State, 64-49. SEC quarters, uh, this, this is another shocker. I didn't think this, this would ever happen, but I guess if it's going to happen, this was the year for it to happen. Uh, Vanderbilt beat number 23, Kentucky, 80 to 73. Uh, Kentucky just seems like they, uh, they, they play at Kentucky level, like they always do. And then at some point, a very uncharacteristic, characteristic Kentucky play happens. I, I don't know. I can't explain it. It's probably like people are telling, I mean, there's Kentucky fans out there who want to get rid of Calipari. I mean, they really do. Um, this just adds fuel to the fire, losing to Vanderbilt. Um, Conference USA semifinals, Florida Atlantic beat Middle Tennessee by three. Big 10 quarterfinals, Ohio State beat Michigan State by 10. Uh, SWAC semis, Texas Southern beat Alabama A&M, 74-61. AAC quarters, Cincy beat Temple by 30 points. Uh, Conference USA semis, Toledo beat Ohio, 82-75. MEAC semifinals, Howard beat uh, Maryland Eastern Shore, 74-55. MAAC semifinals, Iona beat Niagara, 71-59. Big 10 quarters, Penn State beat Northwestern by two points in overtime. Um, Northwestern, talked about it before, they went on that five-game tear, was it last month? Then they kind of fell off, lost a few games. I really thought they were going to bounce back in in this uh, Big 10 tournament, but uh, no, lost in the quarterfinals. Uh, AAC quarterfinal, Memphis beat UCF. 8176. Um Mac semifinals. Kent State beat Akron by six points. MAAC semis. Maris beat St. Peter's. MEAC semi. Norfolk State beat North Carolina Central. Wax semis. Grand Canyon beat Sam Houston by three points. Big West semi. Cal State Fullerton beat USC Irvine, Irvine by three points. SWAC semis. Grambling beat Jackson State. AAC quarters. Tulane beat Wichita State. Wax semis, Southern Utah beat Utah Valley by one. Big West semifinals, UC Santa Barbara beat UC Riverside, 92-87. And then the Mountain West semis, Utah State beat Boise by 10 points. So, that brings us to uh, yesterday. All the things that happened. Big East champion, Marquette. Beat Xavier, 65-51. Marquette's Kolek, 20 points, 8 rebounds. Kunkel for Xavier, 14 points, 4 rebounds. He hit four three-pointers in this one. Uh, Marquette, 22 for 61 from the field. Xavier was 21 for 61 from the field. Uh, Marquette hit seven three-pointers in this game. Xavier hit five. Xavier had 13 turnovers in that one. Uh, Mountain West Championship, number 20, San Diego State beat Utah State, 62-57. San Diego State's Bradley, 16 points. Utah State's Ashworth led the way with 13 points. San Diego State was 20 for 60 from the field. Utah State was 23 for 62. Uh, AAC semifinal, number one, Houston 
and beat Cincinnati, uh, 69 and 48. Uh, UH is Roberts, 16 points, eight rebounds, followed by Sheed, 16 points, four rebounds. Uh, as we mentioned, Sasser injured. Uh, I'm guessing I haven't heard anything. It's probably going to be a game time decision, which uh, the game starts in a couple hours. So, um, probably maybe we'll hear something in the next couple hours. I don't know. Um, the other AAC semi, Memphis beat Tulane by 40 points. Uh, Williams for uh, Memphis, 27 points, 11 rebounds, followed by Davis, 20 points, 5 rebounds. He hit four three pointers in this one. So it'll be Houston and Memphis in the AAC championship game. Uh, Big 12 championship game. This one kind of shocked me. Uh, number seven, Texas beats number three, Kansas, 76 to 56. Uh, Dissu for uh, Texas, 18.6 rebounds. Uh, Rice and Carr had 17 points each. For Kansas, Wilson, 24.6 rebounds, followed by Yesifu, 11 points, four rebounds. Texas, 31 for 62 from the field. Kansas was 24 for 58 from the field. Each team made four three-pointers. Uh, Texas, 83% from the free throw line. Kansas was 67% from the free throw line. Uh, Texas, 10 turnovers. Kansas had 15 in that one. Um, SEC semifinal, number four, Alabama, beat number 25, Missouri, 72-61. Uh, Alabama's Miller, 20 points, 12 rebounds, followed by Clowney, who had 19 points. Uh, number 18, the other SEC semifinal. Number 18, Texas A&M beat Vanderbilt, 87-75. Uh, Texas A&M's Taylor, the fourth, 25 points, followed by Radford, 16 points, four rebounds. Bama versus A&M, SEC championship game today. And what was it last week? Yeah, last Saturday, Alabama. Lost to Texas A&M, so we'll see what happens there. Uh, Big Ten semifinals. Number five, Purdue beat Ohio State 80-66. to ED for Purdue, 32 points, 14 rebounds. Back to his normal self. Uh, Big Ten semi. This one kind of shocked me again. Uh, Penn State beat number 19, Indiana, 77-73. I figured Indiana was going to win that one. I uh, figured we'd have an Indiana-Purdue good old rivalry matchup for the conference championship. Didn't happen. Uh, Penn State's picket, 28 points, 8 rebounds. Purdue versus Penn State in the Big Ten championship game today. I think that's the last game. I got the schedule. We'll go over it. But I think, yeah, as usual, it's the last game. Um, America East Championship, Vermont beat UMass Lyle, 72-59. Vermont's pin, 21 points, 4 rebounds. Ivy League, semifinal. Ivy League's been playing some good ball. Uh, Yale beat Cornell by 20 points. Uh, let's see if I can say this guy's name for Yale. Polakidis? I think that's how you say it. Pull the keys. Uh, 25 points, 7 rebounds. He made six three-pointers in this game. In the other Ivy League semifinal, Princeton, uh, Princeton beat Penn, 77-70. See if I can say this guy's name for Princeton. Ibu... Ibu Almond? Ibu Almond? I don't know. I'm butchering it, though, I know. 26 point or 21 points, 6 rebounds for him. Yale and Princeton in the Ivy League Championship game today. MEAC Championship game. Howard beat Norfolk State, 65-64. Uh, Howard's Williams, 20 points off the bench in this one. Atlantic 10 semifinals. VCU beat St. Louis, 90-78. to uh, VCU's none, 18 points in that one. Uh, in the other Atlantic, uh, Atlantic 10 semifinal, uh, Dayton beat Fordham. 78-68, Dayton's Kamara, 28.7 rebounds. VCU versus Dayton in the Atlantic 10 championship game. Let's see a SWAT championship. Texas Southern beat Grambling, 61-58. Uh, Texas Southern's walk of the third, 14 points in that one. Uh, followed by Henry, 19 points, five rebounds. Pac-12 championship game. Well, what a game it was, huh? Uh, number eight, Arizona beats number two, UCLA, 61-59. Arizona's Tubalus, 19 points, 14 rebounds, followed by Ballo, 13 points, eight rebounds. Uh, UCLA's Bailey, 19 points, seven rebounds. Campbell, 16 points, four rebounds. And um, UCLA's Jacquez Jr., 
to score less than those guys. Um, Arizona, 19 for 52 from the field. UCLA was 22 for 60 from the field. Arizona hit six three-pointers. UCLA hit four three-pointers. Uh, both shot 68% from the free throw line. ACC championship game. That was a good game, too. Number 21, Duke beat number 13, Virginia, 59-49. Uh, Duke's Roach, 23 points, 4 rebounds. Filipowski, Filipowski, 20 points, 10 rebounds in that one. Uh, Beckman for Virginia, 12 points, followed by McKinney, 10 points. Uh, great defense by Duke. Um, they never gave those guys from Virginia any good shots. Uh, Duke, 19 for 45 from the field. Virginia, 16 for 48 from the field. Neither one of them shot well, but... Oh, uh, man. Uh, Duke, 77% from the free throw line. So was Virginia. Each team hit four three-pointers. Uh, Duke uh, never trailed in this game. Came out on fire from the start and just kept it going. Uh, back championship, Kent State beat Toledo, 9-3-78. Uh, Kent State's carry, 26 points. He hit four three-pointers in this one. Jacobs, 18 points, 13 rebounds. Uh, Toledo's Milner Jr., 25 points, 10 rebounds. He hit three three-pointers. Uh, Kent State, 31 for 61 from the field. Uh, Toledo, 25 for 59 from the field in that one. Kent State has seven blocks, four steals in this one. Uh, still trying to wake up. MAAC championship game. Iona beat Maris 76-55. Iona's Jenkins, 27 points, 5 rebounds. He hit 6 three-pointers in this one. Uh, Marist, Gardner had 23 points, 7 rebounds. Conference USA championship game. Florida Atlantic beat UAB 78-56. Uh, Florida Atlantic's Martin, 30 points, 11 rebounds. He hit 5 three-pointers in this game. Davis, 18 points, 7 rebounds. UAB, UAB, Walker, 18 points. He hit four three-pointers in this one. Gaines, 13 points, 5 rebounds off the bench. Florida Atlantic, first NCAA tournament since 2002. Congratulations to them. Uh, when these teams haven't made the NCAA tournament in like this 20-something years, do you... Consider this season a failure if they're bouncing in the first round. Uh, you think after not making it for 20 years, you would go deep as you can. Now, I know you're going to run into teams that uh, are just going to just going to whip your ass. We know that. Uh, but you still hope these teams that haven't been in there for years uh, go far. I mean, you know, I don't know. Is a season of failure if they get bounced in the first round? Probably not, but... You know, who knows? Big West Championship. UC Santa Barbara beat Cal State Fullerton by 10. UC Santa Barbara, Mitchell, 20 points, 4 rebounds. Cal State Fullerton, Jones, 18 points, 6 rebounds in that one. Uh, WAC Championship. Grand Canyon beat Southern Utah, 84-66. Grand Canyon's Harrison, 31 points, 8 rebounds, 8 assists. He hit 5 three-pointers in this game. Uh, McLaughlin, 21 points. Southern Utah is led by Jones, 17 points. He hit three three-pointers in this one. Uh, behind him, Fawcett, 12.7 rebounds. Grand Canyon was the number five seed in this tournament. And they beat three higher seeds to win this championship. Pretty cool. Uh, it's their second NCAA tournament they'll be going to in three years. Uh, and so that's how yesterday went. Today, let me see. We got, uh, yeah. Five, five championship games. 11 a.m. Eastern. Uh, no, 11 a.m. Central. These times are going to be Central. On the ESPN2, that Ivy League, talking about them. Uh, 20 and 6 Princeton versus 21 and 7 Yale. That should be a pretty good one. 12 p.m. ESPN, the SEC Championship game. Number 18, 25 and 8 Texas A&M versus number 14, 28 5 Bama. Can they beat them? Twice in a row. That's going to be the key there. Uh, neutral court, too. They're not in College Station like they were last week. Uh, 12 p.m. CBS, Atlantic 10, 22 and 11, Dayton versus 26 and 7, uh, VCU. 
215 ESPN, the AAC, 25 and 8 Memphis versus number 1, 31 and 2 Houston. And then rounding out, finishing it up, 2.30 p.m. CBS Big Ten Championship game, 22 and 12 Penn State versus number 5, 28 and 5 Purdue. And then, of course, tonight, selection show. Uh, I don't even try to guess who's getting in. You know, all these teams on the bubble, first four in, first four. I don't even, you don't know what these guys are going to do. So I don't even try to guess who's going to be in, who's not. Um, so just going to be wait and see. Um, but next week when we do a show, we'll discuss, talk about uh, who's in that shouldn't be in, who should have gotten in, just like we always do every year. Uh, so anyway, yeah, today's championship, Get up, got five of those games. Then the selection show. Um, so we'll be back next week sometime to uh, wrap up what happened today with the games and the selection show. Uh, anyway, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Hope it's a good one. Uh, Monday's here tomorrow. Sucks ass, but what are you going to do? Keep busy in the weekend. We'll be back soon enough. So uh, y'all be careful. Be safe. We'll see you next time.